Um, and what I always like to do is uh, find a picture, an image that actually fits my mood, a situation or whatever. And I came up with this image just the other day and I thought that'd be pretty fitting. This is me as a whole, a bit. Yeah, I've been trying. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, uh, vulnerable, as you can see, trying to be as, 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 as strong as I can be, uh, uh, shooting my vision and my ideas at you from a wheelchair. So, um, but really, it's, 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 it's been quite, quite amazing. The things that I've been hearing from people here today um, is the, what I find is that everyone's so, so, so enthusiastic about what they're, what they're telling us and, 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 and it's been so, so diverse as well. I've heard, heard about uh, shitty client radars being developed and, and, and then there's this whole design process that really helps get, get insightful uh, uh, what a client needs, um, and then there's this 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 JavaScript, which I don't know anything about, but was, which was really inspiring as well. Because in the end, in the basis of it all, it's about creating stuff, and that's actually something that I can really relate to. Um, Everyone's a creative. I honestly believe this. Um, and if I dissect it, the most important word here is probably creative. But in this word in itself, I would say, oh, sorry, guys, create. And I think everyone here, maybe a few exceptions left, can identify with this because this is what we all do. We create. Therefore, we are all creatives. This is me, the, the guy on the left. And this is my daughter. She was two years old at that time. And I, me, being the art director that I am, I'm trying to correct her drawings, which I shouldn't. Um, but the reason for me uh, to show you this picture is because I find children so remarkable. And they're wonderful and horrible for all the same reasons. But two things that really stand out for me. One is they have this undeniable urge to create. Almost every child you'll ever come across will want to make you a drawing. In the end, we all did this. Everyone's made these drawings for their mums, for their dads, for whoever. My nephew the other day, he came up to me and he showed me this book and he's drawing all these monsters. And he's asking me, how should I draw my next monster? And asking me, well, should I, should I draw a big eye or a small eye or whatever? And it was so fascinating because it was a collection of all these, this whole book was filled with monsters. He's just six years old. The other reason why I find children so interesting, or something that they have is interesting actually, is they never stop asking you, why? Why? The other day, um, we wanted to go outside, and the weather was fine. My daughter and I am talking about. The, the weather was fine, and but it was still cold, so I said to my daughter, well, you have to put on a coat. And she says, well, why, Daddy? Well, because it's, you're going you're gonna to get a cold, but why? Well, because it's cold outside, but why, Daddy? So then I contemplated whether or not I should actually start explaining the weather. But then I realized I don't know anything about that myself. So I just said, because, and then that was that. But in the end, that wasn't really the response that I should have had. Because 
Her asking me why is so valuable. I should have actually just gone into that. So creativity for me um, consists out of three very important pillars. Three, now I have to look at my speaking notes here because I can't, right. So three important speak, uh, 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 pillars that reflect creativity. First, the first one is diversity. Everyone has his or her own expertise. Everyone has their own affinities, their own way of looking at life in general. We are all as good as we are ourselves. But if we start combining that diversity, then that will make us stronger. And not us, but in the end, what we're all here for, our product. Curiosity. Now this is what I just spoke about, which happened with my daughter. But curiosity is at the foundation of creativity. If you can f master the ability to keep on exploring, keep on f looking further, asking why, how is that, why is that, show your curiosity in things, you're going to find new insights that will blow your mind. And the third one is environment. Now, um, environment is something that, um, what, well, that, is that, that which uh, um, beholds a certain, um, sorry, lost for the word, uh, environment is something that uh, is the basis for something to grow. With an environment, uh, in, an, in an environment, something can excel. And I have this wonderful quote from uh, Sir Ken Robinson. If you don't know him, he's uh, a, a professor and uh, an expert on, on education and um, uh, uh, creativity. Uh, he's on the TED Talks. Look him up. He's great. So Ken Robertson has this quote. This is this uh, this mention of where he lives, and he lives near Death Valley. And Death Valley, in Death Valley, no nothing grows there. And he explains that in the winter of 2004, I believe. Um, it poured, it rained, seven inches of rain. And in spring of 2005, the whole floor was covered in all these wonderful flowers. Now, that never happened before. But that means that those seeds of those flowers weren't underneath the sea surface at all, all that time. Just, they just needed an environment to get them out. Now, the point of my story is that we all need to create an environment for ourselves so we can excel, so we can get the best out of ourselves. And therefore, start making these wonderful products. I truly believe that we are all very good at something. You just need to find what? Sorry, what? <laughs> and start focusing on that. So this is something. Uh, this is something we we like to work. Uh, uh, we like to work in this way uh, at our company called Burst, um, and that's mainly just focusing on what you're good at and combining efforts. And e and these efforts can be. Uh, 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 they can be de front-end development, back-end development, uh, visual design, uh, 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 content creation, uh, whatever. UX design, obviously. 
But what's important is that the, all those elements come together and create one product. So I can go on about that, but I thought, well, I could also just uh, show you what I mean. So I, 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 I picked a few cases that illustri illustrate this, this, this train of thought. This is a platform, um, sorry, it's not. Yes. So, Baron Scrums. These are uh, uh, lawyers. It's a Dutch law firm. This website is actually uh, a WordPress uh, based platform, which was convenient for this talk. Um, but the re end result could never have been made just by design or by strategy or by front end or back end. It's really a joint effort. We have multilingual uh, uh, options. Um, we have all these page transitions that design never came up with, but motion design did. I see there's a hiccup in the, in the movie. So this is an example where everything really came together. Um, Another one, Chupa Chups. You may know them. They're the manufacturer of candies that will make your teeth fall out. We try to warn the user by creating these wonderful falling elements in the background. Again, this one is very much a joint effort. And this really fits uh, the talk we just heard by, from Level Level just uh, a moment ago. Here also, design came up with a few very important key components. And then we went to front end and really just started developing this platform and took it from there. And then motion designers came in and made it even better. Sorry, guys, this is actually a Drupal uh, platform. <laughs> and then this one I think is really fun to show as well. Corny is a product uh, from the Hero line. Hero, we all know them from the Jam. Um, this is actually a Finnish website. Um, this came in, um, also referring to your talk uh, from level level just a moment ago. No time, no budget. Um, what was the other one? No time, no budget, and uh, no time, budget, scope. budget scope, right. Um, uh, you, an enormous scope. We want it to be a really cool bland, brand platform. This, and this, this is really, it's, it's quite a small platform, but what was really fun is that we made this in just uh, under uh, three weeks, I think. And it was just an effort of design, motion design, front end, all getting cramping together and just going at it. Just working diligently and, and, and getting, get it, getting in a, a, a real feel for what we're doing as we're doing it. So, basically a few point out that I, I'd like to mention is um, never stop exploring. Very important. Always keep asking yourself why. Find your colleagues. Find other disciplines that will make your product stronger. And I have to look here. Right, and then there's the environment story, which is so important. Environment really makes you, can, can, really will uh, enable you to excel. And that'll leave me to my final create and be a creative. I think we are all are. And I realize I have gone through this whole presentation quite quickly, a bit too quick, but. Um, 
that's what I wanted to tell you all.